Hello, Face Me friends. Welcome back to the ghetto version of my YouTube videos. This is the kind where I hit upload as opposed to download from my computer. So if I make a mistake, I can't edit it. And if you don't like it, tough. Anyway, yeah, no, I had to do it this way again, the one without the intro kind, just because my computer is out of commesh right now. So we're just going to do the getaway. Hope you enjoy. So just for this video, I just want you to know that I'm going to announce the winner of the last giveaway. And then, um, but first I want to do the makeup part of it because my face looks incomplete and I don't want to be on camera looking kind of crazy. So here are, here's a new introduction to a line that I want you guys to get to know because I will be talking about it a lot. Yeah. Uh, first, let me hide my address. I just got it in the mail, so I'm really excited. You see that? Trish McAvoy. Yeah. For those of you that know me, I don't want to see no comments, okay? Just let this post be its post. Um, first, I want to talk about their amazing brushes because that's how Miss Trish McAvoy started it. Uh, she's a makeup artist to the stars, Angelina Jolie, Sharon Stone. She even has a lipstick that she named after Angelina Jolie. Anyway, she has good fragrances too. Um, anyway, uh, these are amazing. They're professional grade, and I, you know, you guys know, I love my MAC brushes. I am a true MAC girl at heart. Like, that's how I started off, but um, let's be real. MAC's kind of changing, and they're changing their products and their rajas, and they're not the same. I mean, it's kind of, but it isn't. Um, so if you want to still have professional grade brushes, these are great, and I don't have any other ones to show you, but... Uh, these are my two favorites. I carry these in my bag with me, and they're short handle, even though they are professional. Um, they are a little pricey, though. I will admit, they're a lot higher than Mac brushes. So if you can't even afford Mac brushes, oh well. But they are a very good investment. Okay, so Trish, that um, the I'm gonna end with my favorite product from Trish. Um, First, I want to show you their brow pencil because it has a built-in um, shader, brusher thingy at the end of it. I don't even know what that's called. Um, and it's retractable. And I didn't finish my brows just so I can do this demo for you, okay? So if I mess up, mm, tough. Game on. This one's natural. It comes in two shades. There's natural and natural brunette. I prefer natural for me just because it has a little more red in it. But I have used natural brunette on blondes. Because um, if you're a cool blonde, you can just use natural brunette. And then let's say you went a little dark. Like that. Whoa. Then you can just brush it out. Yay. Happy life. <clears throat> the second product is their minty fresh lip gloss. I don't know if it's minty fresh, but for me it tastes like peppermint a little bit and it's really pretty. Okay? Just finishing up finishing up my makeup as I do this vlog for you guys. Seduction. Natural. Um, so here I know I've talked about that highlight. Um which I always say is, you know, the holly, the, the red carpet cheek, and we always see it on Miss Kim Kardashian, everybody's favorite, and everybody thinks she started all these shows, but you know what? They existed before her. Let's be real. Um, you want to put this, it's called Instant Eye Lift. Okay, Trish McAvoy as well. Pronounce it McAvoy. Okay, not Trish McCoy. Trish McAvoy. Anyway, put it here, here, and here. Miss TM likes to call that her triangle of light, which I didn't know was the term for it, but I guess it's a Trish term. Um, then spread, okay? Just like that, with your Trish brush, whatever brush you like. And there is your highlighted Hollywood cheek. You see that? I did this before. Kim Kardashian, regular person bringing it back okay but you can go a little more like what I like to do for me because I wear a lot, like tons of makeup let's talk about that I bring it a little into here just so that there's a little bit of a continuity yeah I'll go here bring it up into the brow and it looks super 
legit, you know? Done and done. See? Amazing glow. I don't know, something happened. Dead girl. Mm. Let's fix this up. So I, um, yeah. So if you know me, you know why I'm doing this. And let's not blast it on life why I'm doing this. It's just I like these products. That's all. Um, the last thing I want to talk about is her very, very most popular product. Which I kind of feel like at first I was like weirded out about. Because I don't know if you've heard of this type of mascara. It's the mascara that comes off in little tubes. And what that means is the way you put it on, it coats your lash. And it comes off just the way you coated it. Um, so it's kind of scary for some people because it slides off in little tubes and it could even look like your lashes. You're like, oh my god, it's falling off. And what I like about this, it's not waterproof. Um, it's oil proof. And that's something Trish McAvoy doesn't call it. Carlin calls it that herself. Uh, it's a silicone based mascara and what it does is it coats and the formula itself is only dissolvable by water. So if you want to take it off, all you need, friend, is water. And it will not dissolve with a makeup remover. So if you try to do that, it's going to stay on. You're going to be like, what the heck is going on? Use water only. If you wear waterproof eyeliner, take off the mascara first with a cotton ball soaked with water. And then go ahead and do your cleansing system. But I do love it. Why? What happens when we have waterproof mascara? Do we swim? Not every day. Does it rain every day? No. Why do we need waterproof mascara? When we're sweating, we don't produce water on our eyelids. We produce oil. So this formula is awesome because it makes it literally like transfer proof, smudge proof, and flake proof. And it's so easy to get off as opposed to like your waterproof mascara and you're sitting there like, where's my makeup remover? Where's my take the day off? Where's my cleansing lotion? And you have to do like three steps just to get that off your eye at night. And I hate that. So, people. There's two kinds. There's lash curling and there's high volume. High volume is their more popular one and the brush is seriously like the size of its stem. Um, and I like both. Uh, I prefer lash curling in my life just because it's a little bigger and I can build with it. But I do go in there with the high volume to get into the nooks and crannies of my eye. Like right in here, right in here, and on my bottom lashes, it's a maze. And it is the most popular one. Like if you want something that's really super quick, almost like Zoom Lash from MAC, do high volume but if you don't mind building your lashes and like sitting there with it do lash curling and if you're like the kind like me where you want your lashes to be as big as and as voluminous as they can get is that a word voluminous yeah you want to do both this one first then high volume to finish it up and i know y'all do that big brush skinny brush y'all seen that vibrating head one oh oh i forgot about this crap Okay, scratch that. That's not my favorite. Well, that's technically the world's favorite product from Trish McAvoy. This, my friends, I just got because I ordered it. <laughs> it is my the most amazing invention ever. So we all love gel eyeliner, right? We do. This is a gel eye pencil. Yep. Gel eye pencil. No brush needed. How do you feel about that? <sighs> yeah, I think you're excited. So, two ended. There's your pen. There's your sponger. Check out this amazingness. That's a gel, baby. Okay, it's getting a little quiet. Hope you're playing music. Dude. Oh, yeah. And then what I do at the end, I take the smudger. Okay, so we're like, ooh, amazing. Look at that. It's a gel liner and a pencil form. What I, oh, you have to put a little extra product at the end here. Just dab a little. And then the opposite of what you would do with a brush. You pull out. Because remember with a brush we pull in, like so, this one you pull out. Hi. We love that. 
intense black pencil. So all of these things, my friends, if you do want them, please message me and I will send it to you free of charge. I mean, free shipping. Okay, not the product free of charge, which I think people got confused about that mascara giveaway, which I will get to later. Okay, look how easy this is. Dang, girl. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, Trish McAvoy, we have a couple of her um, favorite things. And I'm going to do another blog on Trish McAvoy, too, just because she has this beauty organizer system that I want everybody to get on because it changed my life. I literally do all my weddings and all my photo shoots with this tiny little planner. And people go, that's your kit. And I go, yeah, shut it. So, <laughs> after that, so now that my face is finished, I can go on with my blog. Because I wasn't going to do it with a nasty, unfinished face, right? So, yes. Foreplay just got back from L.A. And what we did out there was a film for uh, UCLA. It was a student film. It's, it's I guess, is like thesis. And it was directed by Gerald Rosales. And he actually uh, booked us for Friendship Games a couple years ago. No, actually, a couple summers ago. Yeah. And he basically wrote a script based around foreplay about how this dancer, like, wants to go and be foreplay's, like, backup dancer. And his name is Juicy, and he's, like, super amazing. It's really funny. It's going to come out next summer. Um, I know, kind of long, right? But, like, hopefully this, you know, I'll repost it. We'll talk about it. It's called Born to Dance This... Born? I can't edit that. Born to Dance This Way. <clears throat> so check it out, Four Play Ladies, Gerald Rosales, Juicy Russell, um, and they had a great cast and crew, and like we totally did like a mock music video, which was so fun. So thanks for having us out. Um, and then you guys, again, like I said, November twelfth, the Palms, we're doing the Pacquiao after party fight, fight after party. God, why can't I say that? The Pacquiao fight after party. Oh, yes, at the Playboy nightclub, something? Anyway, check our Facebook, facebook.com slash the four play ladies. <clears throat> so with the last vlog, I know I talked about Intensity with Ilona Santiago, and unfortunately last week they were eliminated. It really broke my heart because when we um, went out there, we met the kids, and we, like, saw all of them, and they were so cute, and, like, it's just... I just think what happened was with Intensity is, I'm going to be honest, I'm going to blame it on the producers and say that it wasn't the votes, because there's no way that 10 kids did not get, like, more than X amount of votes. Come on, let's be, you know, especially over some of the people on there, and I'm not going to name anybody, because I do actually think everybody on that show is really talented, and, like, my favorite right now is that Drew chick. I love her! Um... And otherwise, like, I I just kind of feel like they maybe didn't have the budget to keep them on board because there are 10 of them. But Ilona did a great job, and I'm kind of annoyed because, like, I'm reading the YouTube comments about Ilona and how they're calling it, like, Ilona and Friends or whatever. But, like, there's something you should know. And, like, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but you know what? I will. Who's going to sue me? Um... Ilona is an amazing singer, and when they put this group together, I think all the kids and, like, everybody understood that, like, you know, Ilona's a great singer, and I love all those. Th they were great when we met them. When they put the show together, the vocal arranger, Paula Abdul, they decide how the song is going to go. It's not up to the kids. It's not up to the kids how they're going to sing or what they're going to sing. And, in fact, when it's a female solo part, they automatically give it to Ilona. Like, they just do. And if it were anybody else, like if it were another solo, like a male solo for the boys, they actually have to audition for it. So the fact that she's getting knocked, I mean, I don't think it's fair because she doesn't have a choice. And the girls know that. Like, they're all a really big family. Like, it broke their hearts, like, to, to go home that night. Like, I couldn't even believe they were in the bottom two. Anyway, that's as far as I'm going to go with that. But please continue to support them. Their Twitter is its underscore intensity. And, I mean, they're still going to continue doing it. And if you guys follow them, hopefully they'll still be on tour. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the fact that they were eliminated. Because you know what? Out of however millions of people, however many millions of people auditioned for that show, 
they were top 12. Yeah, get it, get it. <sighs> I actually have a video of them, and I don't know if I'm allowed to show it, because, like, when we went there, I was, like, there for their practice, and it was this thing called their Save Me song, so if you were on the bottom two, you had to sing this, and, like, the lyrics are so sad, because it kind of, like, foreshadowed, like, what was happening, you know? Um, too bad I'm playing it. See that? No, I guess not. He's so cute, that's awesome. 